hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is black joker and on this video we'll be doing a test net on roadstar.finance okay i dropped this thread on my twitter page a few days ago so if you're already following me on twitter you already know about this thread okay if you're not please guys do your best to follow me on twitter and all the social medias okay so that being said we are going to get right to the test nets okay so i'm on my kiwi browser right now and the first thing you're supposed to do when you get there is to make sure you have a working metamax okay and on this metamax you want to be on the ranking b test network okay because you're going to be bridging from ranking b test network to arbitrum ranking b okay so this might sound somehow to you guys so i'm going to show you guys how to do that first of all you're going to get a faucet okay you're going to get a faucet from the gully faucet okay the links will be in the description below okay so i already have a faucet from this so i will not be getting any more faucet from them so just input your address and send it and you get a faucet okay once that is done guys the next step to do is to go to chainlist.org okay go to chainlist.org once you're on chainlist.org make sure you come down and turn on the testnet bar that is located below the chainlist.org once that is on guys make sure you connect your wallet and if you connect your wallet you're going to have to search for arbitron okay once you click on once you search abby you are going to see arbitrum one arbitron on x die arbitrum nova arbitrum ranking b this is the one we actually need for this test net so click twice to add to your metamax but for the fact that i've already gotten this on my metamax i'm not going to be adding it so i'm just going to go right to my metamax and switch directly to my to switch directly to my arbitrum ranking b because i already have that okay so once that is done guys we are a little step to getting the faucet so we are going to be using the arbitrum bridge okay the link will be in the description below and this is how the website looks okay so you are going to be going to the arbitrum bridge we want to bridge our ranking b to arbitrum ranking b testnet okay so this is how it's going to appear on your cell phone or laptop whatever you're using okay so here we we are going to have from and we're going to have to okay and this is our normal ethereum ranking b so we're going to be swapping to arbitrum you can see this is arbitrum ranking b and this is the ranking b testnet okay so all you have to do now is i'm going to be doing a bit swap i have this already but i'm going to be doing this for the video okay so i'm going to be just swapping a little bit guys so as you can see guys this is it this is how it's going to appear it will show you your gas fee and all this so click on move on to arbitrum ranking b and then you are going to go to your metamax to verify or to pay gas fee okay so click on confirm once this is done loading click on confirm and we are going to have our transaction ready in no time okay as you can see right here as you can see right here it shows how or what is happening it says moving 0.005 it to your arbitrum ranking b okay so you're going to be wait waiting for this for around 10 minutes but this is normally less okay so because i have the four sets i'm just going to continue with the 
with the test net okay so the next step is to go to rodstar.finance okay this is rodstar.finance and make sure you are on the desktop site okay but this is not too large you can actually still use the normal view okay so i'm going to just use the desktop site so that everyone can actually get a view of what i'm doing so click on enter app that is located here and you're going to accept the terms okay and it's showing me that i'm not in supported network okay i have to switch to the arbitrum ranking b to actually be able to do this test net okay so we're going to look for arbitrum ranking b right here okay look at it so i'll click on that and we are going to be on the ranking b okay so the next step is to yes so this is open and as you can see guys i've already done a bit of supply and a bit of borrow okay so i'm going to show you guys how to get faucets when you are on the road star so click on dopex click on dopex governance token okay and then you will see a faucet written below the wallet so click on the faucet and it will take you directly to your metamax to pay a gas fee okay so once you are done with that you're going to be receiving a faucet on dopes governance token so once that is done guys you can supply okay so i'm having a thousand and okay i'm having fifteen thousand worth of dopes governance so i'm going to be supplying a 500 for this video i'm not a fan of huge numbers so i'm going to be supplying this so i click on supply okay it says confirm transaction so i'm going to go to my metamarks to actually confirm the supply okay so i'm going to come right here and click on confirm and then i'll be having my roadster supplied okay so if you can see right here the supply is going to show above right in the supply button or the supply side of the dashboard okay so once that is done guys the next thing you would want to do is to turn on your collateral okay i've already turned this on but for you guys just come right here come right here this is supposed to be off okay let me dismiss this and turn it on again for this video okay okay is already turned on because i'm i've already borrowed so make sure you click on the collateral okay let me show you guys with this you're just going to come here and click on this use magic as collateral or then anyone you want to be using and it's going to show you enable as collateral then you're going to be a few gas fee to be able to enable the token for collateral okay so i'm going to confirm this i'm just showing you guys how to enable for collateral okay so this right here has been enabled for collateral so you are going to come over here okay come over to the borrowing side of the dashboard okay once you get to the borrowing side of the dashboard you're going to be seeing a few apy and you're going to be seeing your wallet you're going to be seeing the liquidity okay of the token that you can actually borrow so for this I have borrowed francs that you which you see up here so you just have to click on what you want to borrow and in this case in this case you will be clicking on magic because we have already enabled magic as collateral okay 
so here we're going to enable magic we're going to click on borrow ma magic and then we're going to borrow like a hundred magic and click on borrow okay so that will turn on your borrowing and then you come over here to fill in a gas fee okay once this is done you would have borrowed the magic token okay so as you can see here i just added the magic right here okay so you can borrow as as much as you want as long as you have a good collateral okay some tokens you cannot borrow okay because you don't have collateral for that so make sure you have enough collateral and make sure you are borrowing the ones you can so the ones you cannot borrow you the ones you can now borrow you can actually leave them and borrow with the next so the next one i'm going to be showing you guys is that you have to withdraw okay after you have supplied you have to come over to the withdraw and let's say i'm withdrawing a bit of like let me say 50 dollars okay so i'll click on withdraw because this is a test net and we actually want to give them feedback on how their platform is working so we're going to be texting everything okay so we are on the withdrawal right now so we have chosen to withdraw a 50 dollars worth of dope x and as you can see these have been withdrawn to my dashboard okay so after you have withdrawn okay you have supplied and withdrawn you can also come over to the borrow side and then you can decide to repay what you have borrowed okay so let's say i want to repay a 20 dollars for here okay i'll just claim click on repay so i'll be paying a few gas fee for repaying their my debts okay i'm not more of a debtor but for this video we actually borrowed something okay so here you're going to be having the borrow the borrowed token repaid a bit okay so you're going to be seeing a new apy a minus sign everything that you have going on in your road start test net finance shows up above here and you're going to see the borrow button here you're going to be seeing the percentage and you're going to be seeing all this so guys this is all for the road start test net okay so the next thing you want to do for this test net is to go over to their discord channel okay go over to their discord channel or the link in the description below so once you are at the discord channel you want to go over to the testnet feedback okay you want to go over to the testnet feedback people are giving on their feedback so you as a tester please make sure you have a uh, feedback to give them so once you do this just click here and paste this on their link